Hey, welcome back to Fair Play. I'm Stephen Cardinal. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the basic terminology used in the FAIR methodology. As an industry, the cybersecurity field has done well, a pretty poor job of defining and sticking to certain terms used when discussing risk. To work with FAIR, we have to all agree on what certain terms mean so that future discussions are fruitful. So let's start with risk. Risk is defined as the amount of money an organization is likely to lose from a given scenario over a given time frame. This term encompasses both the likelihood of a loss as well as the impact of the loss and it's measured over a period of time as a loss expectancy, typically over the course of a year. Now, how much would we expect to lose annually if this threat event occurs according to our forecasted frequency? Something that happened once every five years and would cost a million dollars would have an average loss expectancy of 200,000 per year, one million divided by five. A loss can only happen when we have something that we don't want to be harmed. That thing is an asset. It's the thing we want to protect. It could be a physical asset like a computer or building, or it could be a non-physical asset like patient data or trade secrets. These assets could be harmed in ways that affect the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of the asset. If my patient data becomes unavailable due to a ransomware attack, I can't serve my patients effectively and a loss will occur. Now, threats are the things that can cause a loss. It could be a person or group of people like attackers or employees, or it could be an act of nature like an earthquake. It also could be self-executing malicious code. Threats take actions whether consciously in the case of humans or naturally, such as the case with storms and earthquakes. Threats are active entities. They don't have to be malicious to cause a loss. Human error is a non-malicious threat, as is a Cat 4 hurricane. A banana peel on a linoleum floor is not a threat because it takes no action. I hope. One final bit of terminology to know when working with FAIR is accuracy versus precision. It's pretty common for people to want to give a precise answer when asked a question. Ask a child how old they are and you may get back an answer like six years and five months. When measuring cybersecurity risk, it's almost impossible to represent anything that precisely. Fortunately, we don't need to. We need to be accurate with just enough precision to make decisions. If I'm asking a person their age to determine if they're old enough to, to drink, I really only need to know if they're under or over 21. If I'm designing a door for a house, I really only need to know the likely maximum height. A seven foot door is probably gonna meet the vast majority of my use cases, unless I'm building an indoor basketball court. And so with FAIR, we wanna be accurate. We wanna make sure the right answer is included in the range we provide. But the range only has to be narrow enough to support decision making. All right, so that's enough to get started. Risk, assets, threats, and accuracy versus precision. In the next two videos, I'll be discussing the FAIR taxonomy and a bunch more terms. See you then.